Okay, let's get started. Today's topic is refactoring and prototyping some of the new stuff we find. Okay. Let's look at Figma. Okay. Let's see. Today we did the context menus. They turn into information screens. Um, these two uh... yeah we haven't exactly done this. we are pretending uh... okay I think this is an easy thing for sale currently do this that's a bit hmm. it's in the uh, I think whatever that is it's going to be applied here it's shuffle but I think I think there's also my chance to refactor some of the scene names too because we have a lot of things here. This planting panel, I think, is the top button. This button is sometimes disabled. I believe it is matched here. The shop button, let's see. So pressed. So this looks new to me. Let's see what Jordan did here. We are passing entity ID, which is fitted by whoever is. It's even used. Let's see. It's used from somewhere else, from the market panel. Player operation. Okay, I think this needs a, a longer discussion with Jordan. I think plan here trying to close some screens and open new ones. Uh, entity, if anything, I don't think this is going to. Player operations, and I think this sounds more like a utility. Given an entity ID, if it's parsing it, uh, this part could actually. Nevertheless, let's look where we can actually. I think it's a issue. When we are figuring explain yourself, which is 
let's run the game. When we uh, open the group, opening a group is calling um, expand collapse. But after you open the group, if you click the item, calling explain yourself, and at this point, we are making this. This is the logic here, not it's preview available. Code if I see. He's making sure whether it's, uh, yeah, whether the item actually exists in the file system for the model. So uh, if the model doesn't exist, assuming there are no manufacturers, the final game, we will have all the models, but some manufacturers, uh, and if, if no manufacturers, have will be disabled. Of course, that's temporarily because then supplier may uh, stop for it. Going back, but we had the Search results. This one. Okay. So when it's disabled, I also want to uh, figure out the hint. I think it's called hint. This shop button by it's. Uh, This is the shop. Tooltip. So what's the property for this? In tooltip. So why are you not bringing score? Oops. Be available anyway. <laughs> not this one, but. Not for not for CO curve. It's disabled, we should say this. Otherwise we should say Yeah, let's go with a simple if block. If B, let's not call this B, let's call this uh, for sale, for sale, then uh, going to be false. Also going to have something like this. The else case, if it's not for sale, then you have to enable. Uh, button and we're going to say in its tooltip this message say okay let's run this game this doesn't exist not for sale and it exists it gives you a bit of this so this this is done do a look up on the items available to if browse items. Um, I think I'm going to take this out of the sprint. 
Uh, I'll put a note. I don't want to cause this issue. For minimum viable game purposes, spawns realistically enough. Realistically, the button responds. Okay, from viable game, it is actually um that's fine. There. Okay. Next, removing a plant. In the context menu, the player should be offered to compost such a plant. We haven't done this. In the context menu, the player should also be offered an option to simply throw it out. So, I think this part might be. Let's uh, go to our inventory. Select, let's plant it. Okay, click the context. This, throw it out just like that. Yeah, it's done. I think this is done. He offered to compost such a plant. This is not done because nothing about the compost. I added a bunch of things here. The lid, emptying stuff, adding stuff to the compost. Um, however, It should still stay here. I think at some point I'm going to create a new uh, branch. Let me commit my chain. Uh, I don't think I need to. The number is. We will show what the number six. Safe to assume we can put Let me see if fix does it actually automatically close it? Close it. Okay, cool. So I could have actually Go change for it. Oh. So that's that. Um, let's see if we. Players mount the cash contribution. Jordan said there is cash here. Yes. 
Let's see. Buy more carrots. I think even this is a different one. Clicking from here. I think this is what that uh, specific. Uh, specify entity uh, i think that function should be separate place to be honest i see he's actually uh, trying to find the item to open the correct uh, group Let me actually make this one step better. If the child is not now, and if the child it takes this, because if this if this if this fails, you bail out of the while anyway. It doesn't fail. The child will actually have get text, and if if that is not. This I see he's actually skipping to the but then S2 is model actually registered model but okay I think the first thing we can do is this so uh, reverse Really, isn't there a reward thing? Time to look something up. I don't know. Oh, so what does that do? Doesn't seem to do anything exactly. Yeah, this is confusing. It it gives you the the feeling that it's going to revert, and it, saving some stuff silently. Claiming. Suppose we just have to close the script. Yeah, this planting panel, I think, has been. Okay, first thing we can do is this. Ooh. But it's sort of kind of safe. I use version of system. Problem, though. It's not trapped by the version of system because I think that. Oh boy, this is suggesting it actually saved it silently, but then the version of system doesn't actually care. So it's fucked up. It's not cool. What if I made a very big change? Like in different files and it's 
not trapped at all. Drop this out. Never ever hit this spot. So, this was working just like this. While child is not now, if child is this, turn this is working. Okay. Uh, go to inventory. I think any one of these can be. Except uh, I think we did all. This might stop it. Let's. So names are similar under different groups. This sleds might belong to that, but I was a sleds for uh, later. It's working. Now let's actually improve this bit by this S2 as S2 is. It's more uh, meaningful to. Otherwise, what is S2? Here, if the subchild is not variety. And you this one is busy. I think I'll leave this like this for now. Is there a method for this? Get column. We do get root three items. this child is the model get the sub child from the child sub child is not now if it's not the variety get the find a variety then Expand, but this is already done by this. I want to close everything, but selected item is child expand apps. Selected item. Sub child selected at select C. I think this is already done in your way. Not sure why selected I. Oh, I see selected item is actually something we don't think you need this because it's already. Had.
Because when you get to this point, and co like this expand collapses, it should be somewhere else. That's something is already selected. Mind you, I think I'm confident. If it, Okay, let's try this. So inventory inside carrot. This oh. works. Because you don't really need that. It's beans. Close the it's as if two things opened. See, I think I, I see one problem there. I think the, the reason why he did this, because I think I saw a case there that something, a few things were open at the same This. When I'm closing that other, there's two. Yeah, I'm confident there's like two screens there. So let's look under. Uh, I think we had a stack. What a stack. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, I'll uh, remove this. I'll keep everything else. I'll uh, submit this so he can page all. You're improving. Uh, so variable names instead of. Fine. So, cash. Let's buy some carrots. Let's buy uh, one package of 80 seeds that costs us 800. What about shopping cart? We will confirm. This order is arriving. I don't see the cash update. Maybe I'm to do that. Oh, this order comes. Let's look at our inventory. Carrot has been updated, so we have. You know, maybe this is what I'm going to fix. Maybe I miscommunicated this. Because I kind of remember writing uh, 
long time ago for a different um, game project. I may even have it here. Not. And this might have been in C players situation. Let's see which one of these might be. Let's uh, look in here. I think I'll just look for 1000 because oh, I don't remember doing something. It's, this What is the name? I forgot the name. There's a name for this. You, anything that is over 1000, you mark it as 1K. And write the. If I look for uppercase K, this project might. A lot of. Um, 1000 didn't yield any results. Type million, if type million somewhere. If anything, game time. Just basically it. So far, my actually. Let's get it so that we can. It. Settings for. Oh, I have a tray. Oh, that was actually a tray for the mic. This was like a. Game object script. This is most likely candidate, but Yeah, I'm confident I wrote that. Anyway, it's time to write it again. I don't think it would be. Just a different.
Um, okay, I guess it's time to write one. We'll most likely need it uh, part of utils. Let's look at the functions here. Maybe did, did I actually move it here? Just write it. I think I'll call it decimate. Um, decimate. We are going to be given number. Number will be. Going to string naturally. The idea is this if the number thinking if I should cover the billion case, but this is okay. Okay. Constant basically uh, so this would work. Power, what do you mean? Error parts. What am I doing wrong here? Is base this place distance. I mean, this doesn't really need to be. Yeah, I think uh, Jordan created constants. Uh, we'll just put it here. So a million is a million, a thousand is just here now. The number is. Give example cases. Number is this. Let's make this uh, like this so we know it's seven digits, okay? Now, when you have enough digits to show to the player, say, just enough room to show four digits, the one thing you can do is this, one million, and then instead of doing it this way, you should do it this way. Now, if there's any tooltip, we can actually display the real value really there. So this is one way.
Yeah, I think we should write it this way. The or case was uh, was. Uh, Another case. If the number is um, one, two, three, four, five. And write it to twelve K. Because the idea is this, you'll divide it by million, which is divisible. Then you really divide it by a million and then get 1.2 rounding it. Put the symbol N. If that's not the case, then the fallback scenario divisible by a thousand. It is. Then you divide it by 1,000 gives you 12 something, so it gives K. I don't really think in this game we'll ever get over. You get to nine digits, this is going to be 100. There is still enough digits here because this First of all, if number is We fix this. What is the problem here? The line is trying to write multi line. Good. I think I typed a single code. Double, 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 which then comes with some bizarre. Double. Oh, yeah. Number is divisible by constants. Uh, sorry, million. Now, if this is bigger than zero. Because uh, imagine the other scenario. Number is one, two, three. This is not divisible by million, but it will be divisible by thousands. So this will be like that. So it says that we will always have four digits in, which is good enough. So this is going to be a float number bigger than zero. Suppose we could go about it like this. Um, then if we divide this by one million, we are interested in this. This do this string convert this to a string slap M and that's it. If that is not the case, but number is Much do the same thing. If I remember correctly, it says if last time I did this, I had to account for another case. If nothing is happening, then just give the number.
is a string. Okay. Let's make the number. What is it that you are about? Where is it expected? Oh, because I was uh, I actually had the single lines and it thought of uh, if as the the valid command not says this functions players cache situation where might where might where might be ex expected speak. Hard. It's hard. We'll have time. Okay, doesn't belong there, but cash. This cash must actually have an initial value. Nine nine nine. Let's check the data. Here, okay. Oh, we'll also have some decimal value. it this actually can't be int it's going to be plot but it doesn't matter yeah this okay now if I put this game will start with ten thousand my nine nine point now let's do this else Decimate number. Okay. Let's do it. Or something. What happened? Um, in Melit get index. The problem is we'll always keep it um, float in the data, but only when we display it will actually call this. Or we are just pretending. Normally, this call should be made where we are uh, assigning the billy, but I don't think that is the problem. The problem here is this invalid get index. So for some reason, Hills is not able to find million in constants. That might be because of the way these things are ordered. Constants are coming perfect. I think this will work. And we, we have the million case. Okay, so here the problem is, um, of course, any float number will issue. There will always be some. Rem I think this is what I did last. If the modulo is more than one, it's divisible by one million. And you have at least one unit, one 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 time one million, at least one time. Floats you cannot do float uh what if you 
temporarily turn it into and float of Does it still think of this as float? It sure does because the float anyway. Constant value type float isn't compatible compatible with declare type in. The thing is, thinks it's okay here. The basis plot. Okay, I think. So we go back into here. Mind you know you do need a bit temporary time. Okay. That's still um okay, let's put a break point here. The number is this constant million is false million is mil. So when you do integer number, I think this is going to give uh doesn't do running. But this should give you a zero. As I remember saying. Eleven thousand. Imagine it's eleven eleven thousand modulo uh so we actually have that. and later will be true. Seven thousand, uh, one million. Oh no 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 no. Seven thousand. Percent sign. You know, I think, uh, yeah, I'm mixing two different things. Yeah, I was doing like the part where I was adding the remainder to the calculation. That's when you need this. But here we are only interested in visible. And um, 
it's divisible. Yeah. This is getting you to me. Going to be that uh, last bits. We are not really interested. Or thinking of any different case. So of course, if it's divisible by this, if it's all float anyway, you don't really need to do. Breakpoint. Okay, so breakpoint. So breakpoint go. So we just have to move the the decimals out of the way. Let's remove this. Let's recap. That kind of confusion. Let's close other. I should close all. I want to open data. I want to this. That's it. It's a mate now. Okay. Player has roughly the one thousand. So, what do you want to see? Um, we actually want to see 10k. Because it's not exactly 11k. Right now, what we are seeing is 10 is okay. This part is actually perfect. Because I'm not running it down. Should be just doing the string conversion. Or I'm seeing the decimals. I think this is where we'll have to do the flooring. I think it did not put the brackets. Thank you. Now, if the player, let's actually uh, give these cases. Player has $12,345. We want to see 12K. We do see that. If they have $123,456, then they should see 120. They have over 1 million. That's where we need to. That's one million. Now, at that point, you could be a bit more uh, lenient with the way you are flooring it. Um, maybe because you want to show. One digit. Let's see. Oh. Well, this there. You go. Round is downwards. It's negative. Turning the largest whole number that is not. Also, this other stuff here, step five. Snaps float really is to a given step. This can also be used to round the floating point number to the number of decimals. Sounds like what we need. This bunch of numbers. And I think this is kind of format, so it Three digits here. 
like stepping. And I think this, the 500, is sort of like a, the closest really to 100, that is the, the I think in our case, this, this is going to be, we'll do uh, stepify. Number will be such. This is going to be step factor. That's how we do it. That complies with what we want to see to a certain extent. Um, we actually do this 1.2 million. What we wanted to see because M is another digit and this is going to be. Four. Then I think we can apply the same trick here too. Change the value. So let's try one more digit. That's actually okay. Because we'll, we won't keep it that tight. They really have like 123 million. I think they deserve see it a little bit bigger this should be 23.5k it kind of rounded it up really really okay this is the 12 point because it's below 50 so it's actually going Then we write this as this. I think this is going to be 50, close to 50, 6 to 50. Let's try these cases too. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Confirm. 23, 5. That's confirmed. And this should be less than 50, therefore it should run. This it's awesome, and when we get to this point, now what we can do is actually uh, it is a little bit anticlimactic to see this rounded so quickly. Any value that is over ten k, maybe that's when we can actually start doing it. Just sort of ironic, but if the number this is like ten thousand, I think I'll kind of cheat here. It's um. It's less than 10,000 that therefore this point. In all possible paths, if it's actually more than this, then we'll actually. And then this actually doesn't. No. Yeah. Because then this is going to need a seal, uh, fail safe too. So just. So when you are here, that's fine. Okay, with that kind of cache. When you hit 10,000, you display it like this. I think we could just adjust it. Maybe anything after 100,000. So that means when you get to the millions. So 
12,000 is still okay-ish, mind you. Where was the threshold there? Still fine. Going to be again divided. Okay, so yeah, you don't want to see six digits there. But okay, the, this is still fine. Five digits is fine. But as soon as you go over six digits, thousand three hundred and forty five dollars okay then it is we've already covered the other case that's simply one million now if you really want to write something show one million here that's because of the approximation there aren't enough uh, digits here there will be if you do one one that i think if you have that kind of feeble case you have to um it's a little bit more diverse so that maybe you do actually zero one but this is a good start So of course when I do this, I have to take this out of here because Jordan did not intend this to be this way. Let's also do cases like this when it's decimals, cents. Okay. There you have uh Ten thousand nine hundred and ninety nine point nine cents. Get to uh, hundred and ten, and it's like that. This actually works. However, where we are, um, it's cash. Is he updating the cache here too? Is there anything here? Cache value. Bring data get. Okay. Um, this doesn't need to be string stop. We are actually returning the string from. Oh. Now the cache will always be kept uh, cache, like a media float for calculations. When we are displaying it here, ready. I think this should be called somewhere else. When something is updated, it's also wrong. cache updated yes i don't think we have a way of uh updating the cache by incrementing it but we can actually decrease it or decrement it like they say imagine we have this much money this let's go shopping carrot let's buy something that cost uh twelve thousand some the basket sure shopping. this should actually always be open to you then uh I don't know if it's a mess right now, but we are working on it. The cash did not go down. 
Maybe he's not triggering it here. Cash up with you. Cash up to this. But yeah, nothing is basically calling the cash update. This is done initially. I think we'll uh, we'll remove this here. because something else may just trigger the cash update, which will take itself. This function's job is to do that. At the very least, we should just directly call. Time is yeah so this is not exactly uh, its fault uh, cache should not be in time anyway so this is all prototype we'll actually do a massive uh, at some point I won't touch this but I'll uh... You know, I'll create a new issue. And it's going to be a UX issue. A feeling I might have written it. Explain currency. This is actually a UX issue. I think this is important enough to it's fine. thousand dollars I'd like to see my cash value root condensed We'll just enumerate here. I think we could just shamelessly take it this explanation. to um like this I think we could turn this into either do it or don't Uh, this is actually fine we decided to go with uh, just the normal display 
with the five digits. This is, by the way, done. I'll submit this issue, but I'll kind of close it anyway. I'll put it in review in progress. I'll put a note here for Jordan. I think we could mention people. Anyway, I think I'll talk about this on no need to come. Um, refactor. Okay. Take uh, stuff. See my script. I think this is okay. Is we don't uh, change the data hash programmatically. But it should. It's done. Let's commit our changes. That. Funny thing is, for such a simple thing, we have touched a lot of um, here these two constants. The value we have changed. This didn't really need to the cross our point this is the function we wrote this is where we are now calling that function 
Uh, this scene is, has been updated because I opened it and it does it anyway. Time was part of HUD that also. Some internal, I think, timestamp thing here. The, the file is modified. We haven't actually changed anything, but the scripts have been updated. Either way, this is uh, an improvement to two eighty. Stage all it's done. Let's see what this is going to do. I suppose I could have written this in a uh, source tree, which then it's, it's it here. So I think I'm going to change gears here because um, uh oh this is unsaved. Damn it. Let me just append. Oh, I think that was maybe just a silly mistake there. Source tree doesn't show me any change. Commit here, but I. And okay, it now registered. What's the change here? I think I just screwed up the spacing here, right? Yeah, it puts uh put the uh, space there. Sort of yeah, I'll just discard this change. That's fine. So I think at some point, either Jordan individually or he and I together will fix things, implement new things. But I think there are certain areas he will benefit if I uh, help him out with uh, UI design. I think today might be a good time to do that. Something like buttons. Uh, giving him some basic UI stuff because uh, I mean we are working on the functionality should we really have pretty looking panels but it might help the mood and either way I think he's going to need my help in that area and he can always work out the bugs and uh, improvements um, and when the time comes maybe both of us will jump into development but since I have time right now, maybe I should focus on parts where I can actually make it. And then he can come and make the difference on his own. Um, I think might need a close button here saying he puts basic X there. I'm thinking we might also need an information button. Let's do those two things. And move to Godot.
Okay. Um, say close. Buttons like this, I think. Uh, because this is um, it's rounded uh, rectangle here, I think we could still benefit from shape like that. If I remember, this structural property, I'm just going to abuse this here. Need you to take out of that. It's going to be something like that. One, two. I think we'll just do it like four pixels off. And um, we put an X there and that X actually is going to turn into, you know, I'm going to detach this from the distance, delete this, we'll do that cross thing with the line, 14 is the value. We'll copy, paste you, we'll do nice. This is where things get complicated. Things never seem to align properly. And then it kind of won't matter. Two. I don't like eyeballing things. I have an engineer's mind. Correct. These alignment buttons don't quite work. Um, if I do this, we'll always put it there. But then it's, it, we know it's wrong. Oh. Group. Right. Um, the color like this. Could even be red. Uh, light green color that's fine can we make this three see it all screwed up now because it's never correct the close button structure four pixels I think this is going to be a question mark let's see if we can pretend back 18 let's change it color stick it in here group is gonna go okay I think that's it. I think 
might be made a little bit uh, beefier. Pull this um, let's call this uh, close. Might have to change the return. The, the color, I mean. Something that reddish that orange was actually okay might be it You could alternatively put I. I think that's a better choice. Question mark. What are you questioning? Always iffy about what happened now. Okay, then it's all wrong. It doesn't quite fill that area. Need a iffy information. Could be this uh forgot the name what's this called life buoy well something like this a little bit style like let's draw this The circle, perhaps. It's tested theory. Slightly elliptic. Good enough for our purposes. This is going to be the. I think this is the inclination point. Thing like that will fix it. Here's another. Definitely another. Here's another. We'll fix that. I'm all the way here. Escape. the one I'm just in. Let's change the stroke to red. Zoom in. Good enough. Let's do it. Okay.
This now has to be compensate here. Okay. Good enough. Much better. And here, I think I have to press Alt. I can do this daily, and this part is also going to be daily, like this. Let's move it. This can move. This needs some adjustments. Because it's going to be a build, number one. Going to get smaller. This is perhaps a little bit uh, off. I think we need to compensate. Maybe we actually need another. Or we gotta push this control point. Just not that. Now, let's reverse the fill stroke. These two kind of belong together. Group them, fill them. Scale. Actually, both will be it's wrong. Big plus to replace the mix one. This is good. Let's group you. But thank you. I think it's definitely filling that space. A lot better, so let's put up the percentage. We'll either make the X bigger or this one to smaller. Ah. I think that's an okay information. I think now is the time I did the most basic panel in Godot. Let's see, let's move away. If I remember, I see. Oh, theme. So yeah, I think he tried to create a theme for buttons, but place move. This is there's themes. Actually, it should be on the themes. I think we'll just do this. Right click new resource theme and you see this. So he added a button thing. I'll fix that for us. Add 
plus item to add panel add all this texture we'll get to the texture soon texture will be what go to components here's You have to zoom in and do some measurements. Let's export this. Export panel. Preview. Again, there's no reason why this should be this big. Panel one. Panel. export again so let's go to the project urban farmer work teams I think I'm going to create another folder here. There is some stuff I'm seeing here. Not quite sure what it is. There's outdoors source. I see for default. No idea what this is. Dynamic form. I'm not sure if I created this. Anyway, this I'm going in here. Now, whether we name these two things the same or this should just be theme. Or theme. If we have more themes, we'll see. We'll click. I think what we need to do is this. Under this folder, we will put uh, what? We will put assets, parts. this here this panel is the texture sky now let's adjust the <clears throat> the nine slice thing let's see Rope center so essentially, three, four, seven pixels in. Is this top part? And seven pixels in here seven and there's this inner shadow thing we'll, we'll we may have to adjust this a bit so for now let's see when we adjust this
we don't really get to see the pixel that is here. The bottom. Yeah, we'll see how that shut leading in. Might be one pixel off. Keep secure to not. Huh? I now you have to do this menu. But being said, this theme is now on the game. None of this will look okay. Because they are not using planting pen. Now let's go to HUD. Can we actually cannot do it in the cookie? This bottom part, player operation. I think at some point, like I want to assign theme. as high as possible in the house. Do this, let's see. So these are the buttons. Here's the pen. So, because it trickles down, right? Oh, ideally. ideally, we should place this root as possible. Odd. This doesn't really change. See? I think it's okay. We could just assign it to a few things. I think we can fix the buttons too. Let's have sexy buttons. Rain freeze buttons. We have four phases here, uh, states. Selected state could use the over state. We should have put this uh, here and this because it's okay when you have this maybe if having this broke lighter.
What's the color for this? One, one, one. Something. These two are the same. Three, seven, five. Pretty much the same. This is going to be. Between this and this, this actually has that gradient, linear gradient. This is the other linear. This is sort of like raising up. Let's control C, E. This um, alt from C alt. I don't think we are using anyway. This is done. I think I need to create a, a state here or four more states. Take these three out of the way. Let's take this right here. Not sure why fine, but This one will have neither text nor icon. This needs a new name. Sorry, no name. It's the idea. Delete the text. The text. Because the text will come in Gada. This will actually be all false states. Only the selection state is good. These are the buttons. We have to export these buttons. Then we do for selections and we do export, export four layers. Zip, let's see what the zip is. State disabled, icon false, text false. I think when we export it from the components, this variance part, it kind of likes to keep the states here written. It's name because when we change this stuff, I think it automatically updates say this one. Normal icon false. Okay, false, false. When we change this to true, 
it updates this and I bet when we change this to false and I remember seeing this it's going to change this to false so we shouldn't mess with these things because when you do it through here actually you know what that's keeping track of its sound what if we gave this a whole different name what if this was just normal? Still keeps track of. I see. Yeah, it doesn't know the states anymore. Or the variants. But for our purposes, I think this is okay. This one is over. This one is pressed. Close that zip. Use this. Export four layers. New zip. That's it. Now, this should have a most like label button underscore disabled. Because what is disabled? We don't know. Let's move them to Godot UI thing. I'll label them there. And maybe fix it in Figma later. Button underscore disabled. Button underscore over. Button underscore. Let's go into Godot. Theme. Mr. Theme. So we have button. We have styles for normal should be a texture texture should be not a norm and uh, over is this of course you gotta this tabled is this we expand it This is going to be close pressed is also something. And when you run this again, uh, the button heights are supposed to be Did we do that manually? So it's hard it's part conditions. Size 120. Why is this? This is if. Some monkey business going on. What is this? Um, Maybe we'll actually um, use inheritance, but uh, I think minimum minimum height should always be thirty one. Uh,
think if possible, they should occupy as much uh, horizontal space as possible. Uh, it will, I'll do that for uh, So here is the forward state. Here is click. So we actually have pressed, but it doesn't stay pressed. I think that's something I'll maybe write Jordan. So when something is selected, and this should actually stay selected. Let's say like this. When this is open, this should actually be pressed. I think we'll do that with some kind of like. But we have something working, and this is going to be a, a special case button. So for those buttons, we'll override the, this one. This is going to use its own custom theme. So that's why I'm trying to separate the default theme. You can actually have. It could be part of the default theme folder, but then it's going to have some, something separate for custom items here. Because it's not going to match this design. This is like a button, but it acts like an icon. Sorry. Looks like an icon, acts like a button. And of course, I changed states of everything. Screwed up a bunch of things here. Normal, tick. Equipment. I think that, that might have been a big mistake on that. Yeah, I should probably bring those four buttons state somewhere here and export them. Or create uh, instances in the components pages, but not export directly from the component, from the instances. Because now every page actually has lost its uh it's horrible. So this is basically normal. False false. Let's see if by fixing this is Learning something every day. Test. Labeled. Did you fix everything now? I think I royally fucked everything. Everything is text here. Everything is not equipment. Like an idiot, there's seven, six buttons here, but seven buttons because I added one more. I don't even remember what it was. I'll have to go to previous streams to see what it was because we, I think, we have lost the name. So, a good lesson for everybody when Figma labels these uh, objects. 
in a component to figure out in which state the component will be. We decide to export these, and your exported name should be much more meaningful than this kind of else. Don't do that. Create an instance of this blank slate, say a state somewhere. Label that. At least you'll be labeling the instance, not the component itself. Because by breaking this connection, the state connection, it basically destroyed uh, every button's text property. Even though you set this to text, it actually takes uh, the default text from the components. Then you have to come here and then actually type your custom name. Yeah, it destroyed it. And I think uh, there's a good reason for that. Because you're overriding and voting to the blank slate. I'll tell you why that's actually happening. Normally, when you choose this case, this thing comes with the text underneath. When you choose this, this is just a rectangle. So when it lost the state information, basically defaulted to this case, which doesn't have the text. So now when you put everything back to the text mode, here, sorry, text. What will it do? Well, it will actually match this case. When you set it to text and icon, see both the icon and text because then it switched to this case. So in order for this thing to do its job, to display either the text, both the text and icon, or just the icon, you screw up with, with the blank state by messing with the label names, you are basically just defaulting everything. Like it, as if it no longer remembers these cases. It starts from here. Then you kind of build up from scratch. So, four button. I think in shop we have orders. Orders, finance, operations. I think we may have one extra to be. It's called finances. Operations. Going to be marked. To be honest, yeah, there's some something weird about the flow so far. Open cards. Take this, copy, go to here, delete this. Actually, even better, but I'll... Where are we? Score buttons. Yeah, I think I selected the wrong. Yeah. You should move to components page. Then from assets. We're going to bring for. Where, where the hell are you?
four buttons. So under inventory, you want to place four buttons here. Components page. Where is it? Oh, fame. Didn't turn this into component yet. Ah, four buttons. And on this way, go to up four buttons. But I think I disabled them. Four buttons. Last but not least, market. It's madness start. Okay, this section has this section has to be in a good shop. It says to say uh, these two actually should say text. I'm going to say planting equipment equipment. Planting is selected because we are seeing plants. Fine, that's fine. Fix menus. Uh, I don't think we have done anything with people buttons here. Feel good. Did something here. But get to basket. Next stage. It's unlearned the hard way. This too also be text. Entry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, hello, Kitty. Okay, so launch is soon. Let's do this. This is a um, finished product. First of all, Let's take these two buttons and make them this. This is always going to be throw out. That's what I remember. I think I'll continue this after lunch because I can hear it's coming. So be after the break.
we're deciding what to name these buttons after the pickup. Pop a piece of chocolate in and I'll be remembering the button names. You can throw out existed in uh, each combination. The actions. This one. Did I? I don't know if it's correct. Uh, oh yeah, I need to be selecting the states again. Text. Let's first fix the states, and I think I'm remembering. Ah, uh, text. Should always be throw out the seed. I think we had uh, outdoor, indoor. Starting the seed. We'll get back to this. For the equipment, I think we had repair. I think this was always shop. This can't be repair. Or it can be because <clears throat> I didn't enable the equipment description. Which is sort of not making much sense anymore because of what uh, I have done with the Let's see uh, this one. We are under equipment actions. Could repair, select, select. I think here's the problem. <clears throat> because um, we've been working on context menus, <clears throat> when you select this raise bed or palace in the game world, it actually opens its information screen. And you see it state whether it needs repairs or not, and then you hit the button to repair. Now, to access this functionality within inventory this way um, it's redundant I mean at the very least This select should actually bring up that context. I keep calling it context menu. It's basically all its own formation kind. Now you can repair and shop again. Because it's good. Have repair, shop, uh, throw out. Move. So. We really want here. 
This is just a convenient way to access it within your inventory. Because you you don't want you wouldn't want to uh, move in your garden to find one unit. Seek. I think this is really. Leaves us with only uh, select behind you. Behind you too. But as far as the button names go, we remember a lot of them. So for the final product, the compost, get preserve here. Compost. Was the other one uh, donate? I think it was donate. Check the other this equipment we did it. this one, yeah. Outdoor, indoor, this should be shop. Have seeds. We decided we could also compost. Um, I think it was package. There's a, there is a way to sell this stuff, right? So. This buttons two. This one is called. Uh, The wall. This one is planting. Let's look at that in the game. Entry. The equipment. So this should actually. It says if it's intentionally uh, raised. Sure why. Let's look at the three. Hi, guys. Yeah. Sure. This is a minimum width. This area will change, but are these actually in the uh... And actually make these three things expand. Kind of take up as possible. See. 
it's probably a lot more improvement here and there but this these things should also be okay see this is uh repair select shop throw out so this is kind of not correct because we haven't yeah this actually should be blank some uh indication that the player must select something to see the options Hmm. I just remembered something. In the morning, when I was working on the a number decimator, I implemented it for the currency. But what triggered that was the fact that this was going over one thousand and wanted to see it as one k or something. So. We could make that uh, utils method a bit smarter, so it actually accepts which case it wants to. It wants to play whether the million cases, because our assumption was that after five digits, or starting at the sixth digit, we actually go into the this. But uh, maybe we'll actually do it uh, variable, so that after three digits, this should actually. Uh, Decimated as good. Let's see that. I think honestly, really, one of these thirty one. Possibly, this is possible. Yeah. This actually doesn't make much sense in it's just select now. Yourself up here so we just do you. Um, we'll change the structure later because I don't want to mess up with the the paths. Carrots. Um. 
Yeah, these three uh, will be a toggle button too. Make sure you do that. It's an easy thing to do. Three buttons. They are actually part of the. They don't act like. Because the toggle mode is not on. That's the problem. Three. Thing is done. This. But. Wait a minute. But. What the. Penalty is CN2. I don't think this is correct. Okay, there's something funny about that. Clear. You are all part of the same button group. There's no path, it's just local to see, that's fine. Three. It stays on, that's fine. Yeah. Because they were just uh, unique. Then when it's unique, then each one stays selected, but not deselected the other. Of course, when this panel first opens, show all should be in a selected state, which is pressed. Where is it? This. Done. It's pressed. Whether it's easy to read or not is a separate topic. It might be when it's uh, over white background, now it looks a little dark. Okay. Fine. That's because this uh, is what is happening to this inventory. This inventory is part of what? Uh, question to Jordan, but I have to answer. How is this inventory coming into the scene? We have the HUD. We have inventory button. This is triggered. Event bus UI pop sections panel. I push. We are actually pushing. Uh, panel name. This button. Responsible for. Okay, calling inventory. Do I pop and push or manage the uh, thing I remember? Why stack? Which shows it? Means this actually knows what inventory is. This is actually a string. Yeah. So it actually knows the inventory. 
But this inventory is the other. Means there is actually this. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Player operations. <clears throat> If player operations is part of here, awesome. Didn't we assign a um, theme to player operations? We did. But in here, even though there is all this stuff, it didn't um, apply. Okay, okay, so I see. Because uh, this is the class itself. Here it thinks I'm actually. This is the instance. I'm actually assigning it to the instance. So instead of this, I need to be assigning it here. There. Now here, this might actually change. Fine. Damn it. It's taking some stuff away. Not all. I think I know why. So, that's not exactly a panel. But it is a panel. What is going on here? Yeah, the component is panel, definitely. Am I mixing the... Yeah. See, this is a panel. It's panel component. It's filled. Um, this is panel container, which actually gets panels. The fact that it actually has this kind of background. Um, yeah, some of these screens will have to be done. Uh, Anyway, it will change path reference. So I'm trying to do the minimum work that uh, his code keeps working, but because this is a different component, this is not exactly a panel. Whole team is looking for panel, but look at it this way. When we are editing theme, Theme. Trying to see the what is I want to see the theme options so I can add. More properties. I just want to show something. 
I also want to see it myself too. this Okay, so I click this. Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about. These two are separate components, panel and panel content. And technically, this uh, panel container, you read the help. This container fits controls inside of the delimited area starbucks. So this is not a panel. Panel is let's look at a panel, this one. Definition is actually this uh, provides an opaque background for control children. So this actually displays a background. The container doesn't display a background. Panel container is essentially a container that you could fit controls inside. And the main difference is actually this. So when you are in uh, here, look at the options. It still has this style here, but uh, it doesn't take over because it's a different uh, class. Um, this is the property list here. And for a panel, turn off the music, concentrate on something like that. They have more or less the same uh, icons. So they are different colors. This is our own custom uh, script. Either way, I think this inventory uh, root type could change to a panel. Uh, I think yeah, the classes are here for our custom stuff. When I change this though, it will have to be extending from a different class. That's really going to be. Just want the pen. See, there you go. Everything is now. You might have a few horrible errors here and there with the class change. That's it. Text has to be black and I think for uh, text. I can use the label and just kind of be down with it for text is generally speaking 
your Sun Pro regular 14. I think that's kind of our size. Now we had a case where it was 15, I think. I'm still not sure about. And there will be custom keys anyway. But for this, yeah, okay, now it's doing it, like a double clicking. It opens it, opens it here. That's bizarre. Add plus items, need label. So anything that actually is a label for the two. Let's do a font this. I think I put it here, right? That's just the fonts we put under themes. Default here is. Hey, look at that. Default what? Um, <laughs> but I'm speaking. Um, I think we need to rename this. What is this? This is actually a font. It has size. 16. I think this is where we were, we were labeling things with the font size. Um, means going to be course it's pro. Let's call it dash sixteen. Actually, we need to put the fonts. Forgot the name. There's a style, and then the font size sixty. This is the whole resource that makes it unique. Because this regular is going to change here with the font data. You could still have sixteen with different styles, or with the regular style, you could have different font size, and each one it will be a different. This. May go under fonts or may actually I actually want to do this Let's see go in file manager the text resource just want to see what it's doing need to open VS code I haven't opened this in a while. Here it is. Here resource type theme. I'll pull this aside to compare what we are seeing here. Here, so we can so it's dynamic font data 
ID one, which is the only resource, external resource. The path is this. There's a sub resource type dynamic, which is using this ID one. Actually, no. This is this is identifying the sub resource. This is the this one is this. This one is this. So the default font is this. Type theme load steps three. Load steps three. What I want to do is, if I have this formula, you just crank out different uh, different resources easily. Could even make this part of. This monster. Stop a new tab. Select a font or select fonts. Select a folder. I think that's like a pet project. Yeah, we could have different font uh, size for each one of these. I think that's a feature, but I definitely need to create a branch in uh, it. That's fine for our purposes right now. Let's uh, decide where we are saving stuff. Well, There should be something under themes. I think I'm going to play with this in the file system. This is like holding all the fonts. This doesn't even need to be. Because you rarely do anything with fonts other than the question though. Where do we want to manage the sources for those? we'll have dozens of these
Let's look at Godot again. This is just going to be source. Okay, I think this is what I'm going to do. Take this font, move this to themes. And it crashed. Not cool. Did you do it? You did do it. Okay, but this path is not correct. Anyway, once this, I think this is what I want to do. Data resources folder. In here, we are going to have this. In here, we are going to have, it's going to be like just the fonts, different things. And then the resources created out of those fonts, but still following a certain structure. But maybe we don't really need to break them down. Or maybe we do for organization. Organizational reason. Okay. This is essentially go go in here for default theme. Font. Let's first fix the reference for this. Load. regular steam okay save the font for just labels ah Doesn't apply. But what do you mean? This is the same thing. Okay, clear this. This is really not fitting here. Extra research. Try to create this. What happens? Dynamic font. Okay, I think the main difference is this. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the object type is wrong. This is a theme, while extensions is the same, but this is all wrong. 
I see the theme can actually have a default font, which can actually be eyes. This is now going to be able to use this. And this font is going to be um, just because something is labeled correctly and the file extension is the same doesn't make it the right class. Which explains why I'm seeing this here, because this didn't make any sense. This is already telling me that it's a theme. This part is the themes from semi balls old justice. Okay, save. actually doesn't belong here anymore. Can we convert this? Most likely we'll delete it. We'll create a copy of this. We will have that regular case. Steam. Semi volt fifteen. Okay. Let's save. Click. This is going to be seen. But then the font will be regular. Okay. So for the default theme, this should actually be the regular. And we'll customize. Other cases, if needed. We'll make the colors. Color is never part of that. Color. Color is, uh, let's make it black, but I think we could make it 2C, 2C, 2C. Mm. There you go. It's legible. There's some stuff here. Of course, it's gone because uh, it's part of the custom stuff. Player operations. Um, I think under player operations, shopping cart, right? This needs some theme as well. It's the same problem. Don't do this. This is actually a panel car. Let's change this type to pen. Script has to change. I see. It's sort of manual is pleased.
shipping cart manufacturer. Shipping cart. So normally it occupied some space and yet right now it's not fitting there. This actually looks horribly cute. Yeah, it's bizarre. Okay. Let me do it this way. Three twenty seven ten. Fuck is This should be enough. If anything, this should actually be. Something horribly wrong about it. Oh. This shopping cart is actually stuck here and here. It's actually <clears throat> changing the instance. This area. Yeah, the margin actually we should do the 11 for the plugin. Sorry, uh, for the panel in the theme panel, this. Okay, I think we need to do the content margin. We need to be, let's go with this for now. Did I even save it? It's a different story. Yeah, I don't see that. Uh, Oh, hello.
Okay, I think I'm forgetting something crucial. Something really basic. If we have none of this. It's funny because it's kind of doing its own thing. That's why you need that. Uh, You need those margins. You can actually see from the right, if we disable this, it's actually, this is actually satisfying that nine uh, slice thing. Oh, I think I'm forgetting something. So this is good. It's actually snapped. This is not good because something in there is interfering with it. This inventory is a pen. Actually, is this? This actually has a fixed position. It's a problem. It's actually fake. It should not be that way. You can do that with the. But if I do that, it's going to screw everything up. There's a lot of work we should do. But uh, maybe today is not that. And uh, for the shopping cart, uh, the problem is, see, this doesn't have that angle 7 7, which is the problem. And of course, now you have to compensate here. Yeah, I'll figure this out with Jordan. There's still a lot of stuff that we both touch. I think I removed the shop button, which then is our purpose. Player of the race. Shopping cart in Korea. Let's do two columns again. There it is. So we can actually open this. Stuff. Let's see. Okay, there's improvements, definitely. I think I may have gone a little bit too crazy.
So I can either fix the decimator. I think I'll fix that some other time. Um, context menu. Yeah, we haven't actually checked the context menus. Yeah, I have some other business stuff to take care of. I think uh, I'm just going to write my commit. Wrap it up. Uh, could work on these icons too. Maybe creating a plus and then selecting the icon. Uh, similar to the way we are doing it here, phases are the same. We have a disabled and a hover state, like here. Um, but I think uh, we need to commit some of our code now. Uh, before we wrap up here, I want to check. Perfect. This actually was sort of the. Let's open this. Go to default theme. This was sort of the, the case with the other uh, incorrect name file. Uh, this is no longer what we are interested in. This is a big thing that we are constructing. But this is using things like this. Source some. Pro is actually a, a sub re, a, a, it's a, a resource that this team is really on. So the beauty of this is if I create a tool that pulls the fonts from a folder for each one of these we have a font size uh, really this part and this part are the variables and we'll just uh, save the files accordingly because everything else is the same that's one thing i'll actually create an issue for this. wait for this Um, urban farmer will maybe make that uh, part of some plugin later. We may even share it with the community. This is the kind of project that is sort of generally just it's not part of a milestone. This actually preparing some data
Okay, this is something I'm gonna work on at some point. It's done. I think one thing uh, Jordan asked me to do, or I suggested he confirmed here, is to add plant. Under add on. Actually, this is in the scene. The factory. See, I don't think I ever separated this. Current tab is. I don't know why this is resetting. I do it manually here, it doesn't stay. I do it here, it doesn't stay. It reverse to zero. But this list needs an uh, plant. This has some signal stuff. So just like this. Property uh, selected toggled. Cheerio one is toggled. Save this. This biggest button is going to do something. This. We create the asset. This is where stuff is happening. Apply property. Oops. If properties something is selected, false return. It is selected. See instance. I think we are keeping list of. Let's see. Okay. Apply property. Missing something here. If the property doesn't exist, add child. Properties dot property scene properties. We need properties. This properties actually needs something. Where do we fill this property section? I don't think it's actually here. Because this property sections is uh, initialized properties. There you go. Under scenes, animal, we need plant script here. Good. So this asset factory is safe. This is no longer, this is not here anymore. I mean, yet, because we are not updating it the proper figure there. Why is this showing animal? Because I did not changed it over here. Save. Plant. So if you actually do this, it's going to create plant. Okay, let's start committing. We have a lot of things. Project Godot. 
Okay, let's do these two add ons. Are your comments? That's fine. So the fonts have been moved. That's actually going to do. I think that could be pushed under the same comments. This is all part of the same efforts. These are kind of not. This is going along with this change. This too. This too. Yeah, we change this. Somewhere here, I think we are going to see that. Uh, Panel container to panel idea. So these four are the same. It's this. This is part of this the pod. This is the panel thing. So enter your shopping cart, all the same. Player operations is part of it. Okay. is part of the this is oh did we change this I don't think we change well see it, it thinks it's changed because when I open it uh puts it puts it under modified files, so it, it thinks it's changed. Giving up. Um. I'll combine all this under the same commit. I'll say uh, it's general Okay, that's it. Let's see if we have any uh, open thing here. Close the door. I don't see any shenanigans. Push. Done. Now, for some new things, I will most likely create a feature. Because if I'm in the middle of it, um, I don't want to screw up Jordan's uh, progress. That's that.
But this is going to be exciting to write. I think this load steps or format to is referring to the fact that it's the second item in drop down. Not quite sure, but I kind of want to investigate this load steps because I keep seeing this. And then the type is, of course, a different name. Load steps 12. See, this one has a very high number. Learn, let's see if actually SCN file for me. Interesting. Yeah, so in the case of 12, I don't see 12. Maybe it's actually 6, 7, 11. And this is two because there's this, there's this. Sure. This is going to be hard coded for the most part, except this. Format is equal to. I think the only thing we didn't answer is this format two.
Anyway, and we can do this some other time. Hmm. Yeah, I think we've come a long way here. I think I need to um, standardize some of these uh, font options, and maybe this is also going to be redundant if it's always part of the shopping experience, is visible only when. You are selecting from a manufacturer maybe it will always display that the problem is that this interface right now only comes when you either actually hit the shop button from the market interface or the inventory so to see this you need to open this right now well this here in the design but uh we have the button in godot I think that's it for today, and um, there might be um, an evening stream, but um, maybe not. So tomorrow there will be more of this UI work, maybe a bit more fine detailed uh, stuff that will implement in Godot, because there are some differences here with the way this margin is um, not attached to the courses that we should have a consistent uh, look for all panels we'll maybe tackle those issues tomorrow for the time being